All right, my friend, here we go. Raw, unscripted, and from my heart. There's a lot to chew here, but you're gonna connect the dots. I'm here to help you, all right? Drop me a comment. Is this video good? Is it terrible? How can I make it better? Did you like it? All right. So, first chord is gonna be G, okay? Second chord is A, so like one in the two chord. But normally the two chord is a minor. I made the parallel major. Now, for all you theory buffs, why is that chord the A major? Why is the A the five of the five? Drop it in the comments, and then the B minor. Okay, let's look at the first chord chart and get right to it. Okay, remember, connect the dots slow, all right? So if you look at that, I have different colored notes and I have black notes, okay? Let's just tell you this, this whole focus of this is using triads, the one, three, and five of the chord. So you notice how I put the G, the root note in red, I put the major third, B in blue, and I put the five in green. So a G triad is G, B, D. Now I put it in the traditional place on the G, B, and D string sets right here. I really want you to have it on the E and A string, so you're kind of like mimicking a bass player. G, B, D, G, B, D, G, B, D, G, B, D. Just practice that. Now, what are those black notes? Well, you need to build some situational awareness and do what I like to call connecting the dots which means knowing what's around where you are. So if you want to build out your solo, your melody, you know, you're, if you're jamming with someone or by yourself, that is right inside of the G major scale, okay? Then I'm gonna show you my horrible jam over a drum and bass line. I'm only gonna play the root notes G, A, and B. One bar of G, one bar of A, two bars of B, and you're gonna jam it over at the end, all right? But I'm gonna kind of show you, I am also gonna do like octaves that outline the triads, all right? Now here's the next chord chart, A major. Same exact thing, all right? Do you see the colors of the notes? The root's in red. The major third C sharp is in blue. The five is in turquoise, E or green. Sorry, not turquoise. Somebody actually, thank you to whoever that was that gave me a tip to not call that turquoise and call it green. So that was a great tip. You guys drop me comments. See, I put them in the videos because I love you guys, all right? I'm trying to bring you valuable content. <laughs> I really am. All right, so A, C sharp, E, A, C sharp, E. This is really how you build fret, like learn the fretboard is using in the context of like music, right? Now the same thing, the black dots, this is all embedded in the A major scale, okay? All right, so this is there for you to solo using triads, but also branch out and use the scales around that. As I like to say, connecting the dots, boys and girls. All right, now let's go up to this other chord chart. I don't know, is it a chord chart? Is it a scale chart? This is like a hybrid chart. So instead of a B minor bar, you see that outlier note right there, that D on the A string on the fifth fret? That is the minor third, that's why it's blue. Now I put that because I really like this stretch. So B, D, F sharp. Red, blue, green, one, three, five, and then your traditional triad right here, G, B, I mean, D, B, D, F sharp. Can't speak, B, D, F sharp, B, D, F sharp. That's hard to say. And then I put the B and D here. Now, what scale is that embedded inside of? That's actually pulled right out of the minor pentatonic, the B minor pentatonic. Okay, I just want you to have that. I really like the stretch, so practice this. One, three, five, one, three, five, B, D, F sharp, B, D, F sharp. And then come up with different combos, all right? So let's walk through it again. We've got the G, B, D, G, B, D, okay? Inside of the G major scale. And then we've got A, C sharp, E, A, C sharp, E. This is how you build like the knowledge of the fretboard. This is where you learn. You wanna learn the notes, not just to learn the notes, but to where to, how to use them in a musical context. Agree, disagree, drop it in the comments. All right, so. Same thing, embedded inside of the A major scale. All right, and then last but not least, right here from the B minor pentatonic scale with this minor third down here too, we've got the B minor triads. B, D, F sharp, right? B, D, F sharp. If you wanna do this too, you go B, D, F sharp. And then the traditional one, B, D, F sharp. Now just so you know, I'll drop the video at the end. I did it a couple nights ago. These are the traditional triads on the D, G, and B string sets. Major triad, G, A, major, B minor. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jam over a little jam track, and boy, is it slow, and I was trying to hold back, but I might have muffed it, but you'll get the point. You'll see kind of me emphasizing, okay? 
Now, I gave you the E and A string sets because that's a great thing to practice, like when you're sitting all by yourself on the couch or you got an acoustic. You can jam that almost, that's like kind of like mimicking the bass line, right? All right, and then throw in those scales that are around it. All right, let's watch me jam horribly over it. Drop me a comment, download the chord charts from my Dropbox. They're linked in the description. Check out our newsletter, would love to have you. It's growing fast. And just let me know, I'm trying to make these for you. Get as good as I can. Okay, here's me jamming, and then we'll wrap up, we'll get to you jamming. Here we go. So you saw what I did there. You're gonna do it in just a minute over the drums and bass. I'm just gonna play the root note. One bar of G, one bar of A, two bars of B, all right? So take those chord charts and I really want you to focus on the root note in red, the major minor third in blue, and then the five in green. And they're embedded in the Gs, remember in the G major, then the G, scale, G major scale, can't speak tonight. The A is embedded in the A major scale, and then the B is in the B minor pentatonic. See if you can get that B back there on the fifth fret on the A string. It's a beautiful stretch. Really gives you some like technical prowess as well. Now, I don't have much technical prowess as you can see, but hey, I'm just like you. I'm just a dude trying to learn how to get better at music every day. So drop me a comment. How can I make this better for you? If you've made it to this end of the video, I'm so proud of you. And that's it. Remember, only you can stop you. Keep going. Check out the link to the newsletter and to the website. You guys know the drill. Now, you guys are going to go apply what you learned in the jam track. You're going to get those chord charts before you do, and you're going to have a blast doing it. See you in the next video. Peace.